Greetings, this is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedical Apps with another medical app review. Today, we're we'll taking a look at a new app called Heart Pathway. This app was developed by emergency medicine physicians at Wake Forest School of Medicine, including the iMedical Apps CEO and founder, Dr. Ildefat Hussein. I just want to make sure you're aware of that disclaimer since I am reviewing his app. This app was designed to assist with the risk stratification of chest pain patients who present to the emergency room. If you wanted more information about it, there is information that links right off the app that talks all about it. I have a lot of these details also in my uh, written review, but you're welcome to look through this section here online. It's pretty slick, lots of good information. Obviously, they have a disclaimer here about the app itself. Information on licensing the heart pathway it can actually be incorporated into uh, EMRs, for example. That information is available to take a look at for a kind of point of care decisions within the entire healthcare system. But the pathway itself, let's take a look. So first off, the app is not to be used with patients who are having a STEMI, have ischemic EKG changes, or have known coronary artery disease. So take that right up front. That will obviously limit the generalizability of this app to some patients, but nonetheless, the majority of patients who present to the emergency room do not have either of these three conditions, and this app can significantly help with those patients. In my online review, I talk about the potential benefits to this app, which we'll talk about a little later, including cost reduction, radiation exposure, etc. So first off, the app asks you about the patient's age group. So we'll say in our example online, it was a 49-year-old male. Patient had left-sided chest pain. He had some nausea and some diaphoresis. You can see the other kind of classic signs and symptoms of coronary artery disease are listed here. Next, it asks you about risk factors. And for our patient, we said they were had an elevated BMI and they smoked and had hypertension. See some other classic risk factors for coronary artery disease. And then EKG findings. For our particular patient, we said the EKG was normal. And at that point, the app calculates what's called a HEAR score. And it also gives you the results if you included troponin testing, which would be the heart score. So for anyone with a HEAR score of three or less, Typically, no further diagnostic testing is needed, and the patient can be discharged. If you have a score of four or more, though, your risk of having a major, art, a major adverse cardiovascular event in the next 30 days is greater than 1%. Therefore, this patient does require further evaluation, and that may vary a little bit by your facility, but likely admission with serial troponins and some type of risk stratification study, be that uh, a nuclear medicine test, a traditional stress test, or coronary angiography. You can see the things that went into that score listed here. They have some details about uh, what each of these mean, but that's pretty much it. So the idea is to be quick, easy, and come up with a risk stratification right at the point of care for these patients. And you can go back and change things recalculate. You can see the score goes up and take some of these things away just by tapping on them. What does say? Maybe smoking is the only risk factor. Go to the end. Completely normal. And now our score is three. So you can see how the app takes that information and very quickly allows you to make these calculations. Interestingly, I noticed one of the authors was a medical student at the time the app was developed, which I think is amazing to see medical students helping create these apps as apparently uh, he was behind some of the use of the algorithm itself, which was really neat to see. So what are some things that you can see how the app starts over just by Xing out. Things I liked about the app, as you can see, it's rapid. You use it right at the point of care. It's got very clean graphics, very easy to use interface. It's snappy, walks you right through things. That's really nice. It has some detailed information at the end of what this algorithm is actually giving you gives it to you in very clear graphics that you can easily read and make point of care determinations the app can be 
customized and used with EHRs, which is pretty nifty. Some things I didn't like about the app. In my online review, I talk a lot about the evidence behind the app, but none of that is really shown here in the app itself. I'd like to see some more of those included in the app. They're kind of on that initial page here under app information, but even then the detail is relatively superficial and some of that information I think could be presented uh, particularly to providers uh, using more specific medical terminology, sensitivity, specificity, likelihood ratios, talking specifically about the uh, findings, number of patients included, links to PubMed where the three primary trials on the app were developed. Uh, the exclusion criteria that you see right at the very beginning of using the pathway, that may turn some people off who are kind of looking for a one risk score for everyone. Of course, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to exist, which is why we continue to look at different risk scores for these types of patients. The app's also not available for Android at this point. So that's my look at uh, Heart Pathway. I think it could really be a game changer for folks if this is used more globally. Uh, and could be validated in even larger trials. But at this point, it has been prospectively validated. There is a randomized controlled trial, uh, and it does seem to be a very sensitive and specific uh, clinical algorithm to use. So this is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedicalApps. Take care.